Hello everyone, welcome to One Minute Learning Show. The aim for this show is to make learning fun, quick and effective. I am your host Khushbu and today's topic is How to image right subclavian artery in fetal ultrasound. With rapid improvement of ultrasound image quality and the sensitivity of color Doppler has allowed us to do a more precise diagnosis in ultrasound especially vascular anomalies. Prenatal ultrasound assessment of subclavian artery has allowed us to make a diagnosis of an alteration like aberrant right subclavian artery or ARSA. Are you looking for some interesting tips and tricks on how to image right subclavian artery and what is ARSA and when you are focusing ARSA in fetal ultrasound, what should be your PRF? It should be high or it should be low. Let's take some very interactive tips and tricks directly from our next generation speaker, Dr. Meethan, in just one minute. The aorta, as we all know, gives rise to three branches. The first being the brachiocephalic trunk. Now the brachiocephalic trunk in turn gives rise to the normal right subclavian artery which courses anterior to the trachea. If this artery directly arises from the aorta, it will course retrotracheally and is known as the aberrant right subclavian artery or ARSA. ARSA is known to be associated with Down syndrome and further testing may be required to establish chromosomal normalcy of these fetuses. To image the right subclavian artery, we first image the four chamber view we go cephalad to see the LVOT, the three vessel trachea view, and here when we lower the PRF, we see the normal course of the right subclavian artery. 